hello wonderful viewers around the world i'm here with my beautiful sister and my friend she's amazing sometimes you have a friend but you wish you guys are from the same mother or father you know what her name is eugenia i know you guys are excited to see her and to meet her she's one of the persons that have made me who i am she's really made me strong and to overcome a lot of hurdles with her. You know what? Her name is Eugenia. Shall we all welcome sister Eugenia? Hi, Hi. Eugenia. Hi, my name is Eugenia, as my sister has introduced me. I'm so happy to do this video with her. And um, ah, you continue watching, you hear what we have to say. I just want to ask a few questions. If you want to stay with me, we will get into it and you will know where we are and the reason why we are here anyway let me give you a glimpse of where we are uh, see outside over there we are in a cemetery and we are here to do this last send-off that means the barrier so we are the barrier grounds uh, because of covid restrictions we are not allowed inside how do you see life hmm, i would say life is very precious um as the saying goes life is short so with life if you have life right now i think you have to enjoy yourself and um the enjoyment doesn't mean go clubbing every day go drinking and go do all those things i would say enjoy your life in a way that when you die you have a place to go when you die you know right in your heart that there's a place very very beautiful for you to go enjoying life is maybe going out with friends and talking making friends that will lead you in the right thing that's what understand life about life wow wow that's awesome and you know life life is so precious you wonderful people out there so make sure that the people that you come in contact with you leave a mark make sure you brighten the corner where you are just be the best of you help people be loving be kind for the particular moment that you are in everybody you meet try to put a smile in their faces help them even at our workplaces in our marriages make sure you live a decent life a life that is worthy of remembrance so uh one thing i just want us to talk about is uh, when we are sick, you know, when we are sick and we go to a hospital, I think we have rights as patients and as human beings. You, What do you think about that? Do you think we have rights as patients and as humans who are seeking health from medical offices and clinicians? Yes, I think we have rights. You have right to tell the. Let's say, for example, you go to the hospital and you know that you are sick. You have every right to tell your doctor what is wrong with you and you have every right to take your de the decisions you want to take. The doctor may say something and if you think you, you are not comfortable with that, you have the right to refuse to it that, oh, I'm not comfortable with that thing. And you have the right to, to say what exactly you are comfortable with. And I think that will even give you more chances to get a better treatment from the doctor wow that's awesome every human being has a right it doesn't matter where you are i know in the developing world like ghana where we come from health is very expensive and sometimes we don't have much to say and the doctors do whatever they want but i just want you to be assured that there are laws in ghana and in the developing world You've, you have a right to ask questions you have a right to refuse treatment and you have a right to give your suggestions. So if a doctor wants to do a procedure on you and you don't understand, you have the right to ask him to explain and you have the right to also do research about the diagnosis and how your signs and symptoms are. Now you can ask Google, Alexa, and you can also read. You can ask anybody, your children to find out. And you know what? you also have the right to change your doctor so if you go to a hospital and you, the doctor is not doing the right thing for you and let's say you go with abdominal pain and they they give you pain medication after a worse of then the pain starts again you have the right to seek opinion from another doctor 
do not let one doctor be like a god who has all the monopoly or the power you can solicit for medical care even now through the internet virtual clinics so you have the right don't live with one doctor and don't hold your ideas don't refuse to ask questions and die you have the right to ask questions you have the right to refuse treatment surgeries you have the right to seek other medical opinions from different doctors don't sit down and die you what do you think about that I think you are right saying that because nowadays doctors feel, some of the doctors, they feel they know everything. And when you go to them and you say something, they just look at your chart and just prescribe anything for you. But I think what our sister Doris said is, is true. When you go to a doctor, it's good for you to have your research done. Then you understand what is wrong with you. So when you go and the doctor says something else, you can tell the doctor your research that you did and what's exactly what the research said and you and the, at least telling the doctor will give you a good understanding the doctor will have a good understanding of what is really wrong with you and two of you can suggest something but not just the doctor saying what uh, giving you the answers to your problem and i think what another thing that uh, uh, sister doris said was um is good if you have the money you can travel everywhere to seek uh, medical attention it's true you can go everywhere to seek medical attention but the point is if you have to get yourself involved. You have to research your sickness. You have to research whatever is wrong with you. So if you have your idea, if you have the idea and the doctor also have the idea, two of you can come together. Yes, 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 yes. You know, people out there, I just want you to know that you always have a view. Your ideas and opinions are just for you. And you can always suggest them when you are alive. The moment you are dead, your ideas, your suggestions, they mean nothing to anybody and nobody will hear it. So fight for your rights, fight for your health, fight for your independence and speak out. Don't hold it. If you are sick, share. Let people know that you are sick. You never know whose prayer God is going to answer. So don't let your sickness be secretive because when you die, we will all hear. And you know what? Your enemies may even come and bury you but when if you would have shared maybe it wouldn't have happened so this is what we want to share with you try to be open and don't be private so that you can live to take care of your family and fulfill the purpose on earth what do you have for the viewers out there my sister so that we will uh, give them some encouragement and confidence and assurance that they can always solicit for medical attention or advice and care anywhere in the world. When you are sick, I know some people when they are sick, they want to hide it, not telling anybody about it. But when you are sick and you tell somebody, telling somebody doesn't mean that person will kill you telling somebody doesn't mean you need help from that person but the empathy that that person will give you also will make you stronger the advice maybe the person may give you advice that will heal your sickness so telling somebody doesn't mean that person is going to hurt you or that person is going to make your sickness worse but just encouragement and the togetherness then the help and everything that person will bring will make your at least will give you the courage and will give you the energy i would say the, for your, support. the support and you go through it safely and you go through it in a way that as a human being you have to go through it hiding your sickness doesn't change the sickness hiding your disease doesn't change the disease but coming together telling people so that at least you have the encouragement and the support from them alone i believe will at least <laughs> reduce the stress, the stress on you and also on your family yes 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 that is amazing you know what when you are sick share let people know that you are sick because when you die people will travel to come and bury you so when you are sick let's give you the flowers now let's do the love talk let's do the closure who knows who has the power the power to pray to heal you nobody knows that so please let's live in unity and in love on this note we will tell you that we love you and love bye, you, bye.
See you next time.